go in Poundland. We're in Inverness this morning, um, just getting coffee, and then we're gonna go do our actual things. But Poundland. Let's go look at Poundland. Yay! So we're at the Battle of Culloden, which is the last final battle of the Jacobites um, in the 1700s, 1745. Dad, Zach, and Kai did the exhibition, they like paid for the tour, but it was a wee bit expensive, so Mom and I are just walking around on the, the land, which is free, and that flag over there marks the front line of the government army, which You're numbered... In the flag. Oh, I saw that one over there. Oh. Numbered approximately 8,000 people. This is where most of the hand-to-hand -hand fighting took place. There's one over there. I think you can see it. In there. Sing me a song of a lass that is gone. Say to Clava Cairns, Clava Carnes, which um, in the show Outlander, there's a place called Cregna Dune, which are like standing stones, this is how she's transported back in time. And that doesn't really exist, so this is the place that basically inspired that with these giant standing stones. Stones. the Club of Carnes and the Battle of Culloden because we're fans of the show Outlander and it works because our car name is Outlander. All right, mom, where are we at? We're at Blair Castle. <laughs> so today we're doing Blair Castle because my mom's maiden name is Blair. Blair. And this is the castle of her ancestors. So I got this rash. Do you guys see my rash? Give it to me. Why don't you put this stuff on it? I think it's from the midges. In a previous video, I said that midges didn't bite you, but now, or didn't they bit you, but they didn't leave marks. But now we all have like red bumps all over our bodies. You don't have any? Mom has some, Kai has some, Dad has some. And now I have this rash, which is great. We're in Edinburgh walking to find somewhere to get dinner. Look at this cute little street. So, Nakai and I pride ourselves on looking quite normal like a Scot here or UK person. And good old dad literally looks like this. Like. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> That's Edinburgh Castle. Which way we headed? Oh, Dad. <laughs> We're going to my favorite store because I've waited for so long to get there. 
Primark. So today we're just spending it in Edinburgh again, wandering around. Um, I was here just a couple years ago, so we're not doing anything really different. I've already done most things here, so we're just kind of wandering. Kai's trying, trying to find a jersey for the Celtics football team. So we're trying to look for that, but other than that, we're just wandering around. vaults now we were just like walking around learning some history but now we're going underground and our tour guide literally looks like he is in Lord of the Rings and it's incredible Which part of the tour did you like the most? Uh, wait, what was the last room called? Uh, the white room? Yeah, that one. Because he was like right in my face. Just tiny, tiny little oh, room. Mom, <laughs> Mom was claustrophobic and he was, Dad was, no. They were telling this scary story about this ghost that like, like blew on your neck and the dad blew on Mom's neck. She went, oh! <laughs> and, she, and she freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> it was so loud. You didn't freak out. You freaked out. Oh goodness. So now it's our last night in the UK. And you know your boys won't leave England. We won't leave Scotland without getting some cheeky Nando's. Cheeky. So an update on the midges, my body is covered in little bites and really the midges were only really bad in the Isle of Skye. We've been out of the Isle of Skye for two, three days now, but my body is just covered in these little bites that itch terribly and like I feel like new ones pop up all the time but I don't know, some just like reappear I think but oh my god. Let, let me show you what they look like. I've I've itched my leg so much here that I've like burned myself from my jeans, rubbing it from my jeans. Or this side I have all of these. 
like, oh my god, my feet. You can see. They're just like war. It looks like I've got a fight or something.